hello everyone i hope you're doing great in today's video i am going to be showing you how to install open kylin on your android phone open kylin is an ubuntu based operating system and if you know how to use ubuntu basically you know um you know all the commands already for open kylin so um i'm not going to waste much time on the intro let's just get to the installation and if you're finding this channel for the first time subscribe So to install the operating system, you're going to load your Tamox application and you're going to update your terminal. The apt update command is the command we update our terminal with. After that, you're going to install Purit distro, okay? So Purit distro is a Linux distro that you use to install operating system on, you know, basically Android phones because most of the operating system work on Android phones, right? So after installing Peru distro, you're going to list Peru distro, okay, to see a list of distros that you can download. So Open Killing is not the only distro available on Peru distro, okay? There's other distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, Deepin, you know, and so on and so forth. So for the sake of this video, we're installing Open Killing. So to install Open Killing, you're going to type the command Peru distro install Open Killing, okay? I copied the name so that there's no mistake but you can see the spelling on the screen right there so you're going to install that and after installing the package you're going to be logging into the operating system right so to log into the operating system you're going to use the command period distro login open kylin okay pretty much this works for other operating system too so if you installed fedora ubuntu or whatever this is the command you're going to be logging in with okay you're just going to change the operating system's name so it is important to note that OpenKillin is an Ubuntu based distro. So all of OpenKillin's um, command is basically almost the same with that of Ubuntu. Okay, so you update your terminal with apt update command and um, we're going to install the XFCE4 GUI for the sake of this video. Okay, now after installing the GUI, you can notice an error there. Before coming back to fix that error, let us install other important packages. So you're going to open a new session to Tamox and you're going to be installing this packages that I'll be installing right now. So first you make sure your Tamox packages are up to date with the pkg update command and um, after updating Tamox packages you're going to install x11 repo right. So to install x11 repo you're going to use the command pkg install x11 repo okay and that is going to install x11 repo. Now once x11 repo is installed we're going to install a package called Tamox X11 Nightly, okay? It is a package that helps us connect Tamox to Tamox X11, okay? So you're going to be installing that with the command pkg install Tamox X11 Nightly, right? And after installing that, we can now head back to our open killing and fix the error that we had earlier, okay? To fix that, I'm just going to be pasting some commands on my screen. I'm going to be leaving these commands in my blog and you will be finding the blog's link in the description below. So make sure you go there and copy all of the commands, okay? So you're just going to copy all of these commands and paste it. And by the time, you know, we install XFC for GUI again, which we already installed, you're going to see that um, we're not going to have those GVFS problem anymore, all right? So that is it. Now that XFCE4 is installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a package called dboss. Alright? We're going to install the boss with the command apt install dboss iphan x11. And we're going to wait for the installation to finish. Okay? Once the boss has been installed, the next thing to do is to connect our Tamox to VNC viewer. Okay? To be able to do that, we're going to give Tamox the permission to be able to connect to external applications. Now to do that, you're going to type the command nano.tamox forward slash tamox properties okay forward slash tamox properties which is the command chain on the screen right now you're going to click on enter and you're going to locate the option that says allow external apps right so we're going to on on comment that and we're going to leave that to be true okay so after doing this tamox is going to be able to access external apps now that this is done the next thing we're going to do is we're going to launch x11 on tamox now to do that, you're just simply going to use the big command tamox i find x11 and we want to launch this on the localhost one. So we're going to specify that we want it on the localhost one and we're going to click on enter and that should launch the tamox x11 on VNC mode. Okay, so we're going to, to be able to connect our operating system to x11, we have to log in using the TMP directory because tamox x11 only has access to the TMP directory of our operating system. Okay. 
So to do that, you're going to exit the operating system and you're going to log in back using the TMP directory. Now the command shown on your screen right now is the command you're going to be logging back to the TMP directory with. After logging in back using the TMP directory, you can now connect to the VNC. Now to do that, you're just going to basically use the export command and you're going to be exporting your display to the port 1, which is localhost 1 and which is the port we hosted our Tamox S11 on, okay? And after exporting your display to the port 1, you want to specify the particular program you want running on that port. Now we want DBoss running on that port and we want the XFCE 4G UI interface running on that port. And the command I just typed right now is going to, you know, initiate that and that is it. You can now minimize Tamox interface and connect to Tamox X11, okay? Just open the Tamox X11 application and connect. And here we are. You can now arrange the interface to your taste, change the wallpaper, change the background, change all of that and enjoy it, you know, and arrange it to your own taste. So this is how you install OpenKillin on your Android phone. Thanks for watching.